Okay, good afternoon, everybody. I welcome you to a very interesting session uh, this afternoon. We will talk about uh, a community approach to measure earthquake data. And um, this is related to the uh, Izmir earthquake this year, I believe, uh, Orkut. I welcome Orkut as our speaker. Uh, he's connected from Istanbul. And uh, it is his first uh, talk at the first Congress for him. So he has never seen or heard of before, maybe just uh, from remote. And so. Yeah, I'm interested to see about what he was talking about, and I would like to hand over to you, Orkut, and maybe introduce yourself. Okay, thank you for introducing me. Uh, I'm very excited to be here uh, online, at least. Uh, I'm Orkut Murat Yilmaz uh, from Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, I'm a survey engineer, and uh, I'm working as a DevOps engineer, too. Uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, uh, I have been working as uh, part of some NGOs uh, which uh, uh, have been focused on uh, <coughs> free software, uh, open data, uh, crowdsourcing, uh, and also uh, internet privacy too. Uh, we have <coughs> uh, different NGOs in Turkey uh, and with different focuses. So uh, one of them is Yersizanlar. Uh, which I uh, am a member of, uh, and uh, this uh, project is done uh, by the efforts of Yersin. So uh, I'm going to introduce a little bit, uh, I'm going to introduce you uh, the Yersin, uh, our NGO. Uh, it is located in uh, Istanbul, Turkey, and uh, it was founded in July 2017 uh, by the people from different uh, free software communities such as OpenStreetMap, PostJS, uh, QJS, uh, GeoServers, and other geospatial uh, free software communities too. <clears throat> uh, after the establishment of Yersizanlar, uh, we have worked with humanitarian OpenStreetMap team and uh, we have <clears throat> uh, made the BINA project. Uh, it was the uh, project for the uh, refugees who uh, have been living in Istanbul. Uh, and uh, we organized workshops for the refugees uh, and uh, helped them uh, mapping the uh, places uh, you, they have been uh, getting services, uh, such as health services, legal services, and uh, other uh, <coughs> services from the NGOs, government institutions, uh, and corporations too. Uh, after the uh, workshops, uh, refugees uh, created the uh, uh, buildings and the roads and the other uh, maps data over the open street map. And then uh, they did their navigation uh, by the help of the some free software tools uh, uh, in order to receive uh, those services. After the BINA project, uh, we have uh, done uh, some work uh, on Turkey Road uh, Data Network Improvement uh, Project over the OpenStreetMap. Again, uh, we have worked with uh, humanitarian OpenStreetMap team too. <coughs> On the <coughs> October 30, uh, 2002, uh, there was an e uh, earthquake happened in uh, agency, and the magnitude was uh, reported as uh, 6.9, and uh, and the earthquake had also caused the first uh, tsunami uh, recorded in our country. Uh, it, wa it was happened. <clears throat> it happened in a, a small town near the agency. It, it is called Sajik. And then uh, the result of the earthquake was uh, 116 casualties and 1,034 uh, injuries. So uh, this was a, a photograph of, of a demolished building uh, after the earthquake. So, <clears throat> um, there's a national uh, institution in Turkey. It is a union of chambers of uh, Turkish engineers and architects uh, from different uh, branches of engineering and architecture and uh, urban planning. Uh, 
people uh, got together uh, since the 50s and uh, <clears throat> they work as the uh, local uh, professional uh, organization for the uh, engineers and architectures and urban panels. So we have contacted the uh, uh, Izmir City Co Coordination Council. It is called CCC here again. And uh, we worked with them. And, uh, they have established a crowdsourced call center after the earthquake uh, in order to organize uh, the field work and office work. And uh, they helped uh, us uh, doing our uh, office work, field work, uh, workshops, uh, and the other uh, data collection uh, and uh, <coughs> data analyzing uh, works uh, with us. Um, when earthquake happened, uh, we were in Istanbul, actually. Uh, I mean, uh, me and uh, some of my friends. And some of our members uh, were in Izmir too. And after the earthquake happened, uh, we have learned that uh, the magnitude uh, from the uh, Kandili Observatory and Earthquake Research Institute, uh, the magnitude was <coughs> huge. So that uh, we decided to uh, <coughs> we decided to give some support for the uh, people uh, who were affected by the earthquake. So first, we have checked the uh, disaster uh, disaster gathering zones map of Izmir, and uh, there was no map of uh, disaster gathering zones. Uh, there were some spreadsheets uh, on the national uh, disaster uh, government agency website. So we have collected the data and then uh, we have created the disaster gathering zones map uh, in an hour after the earthquake. Uh, I mean, uh, an hour after the earthquake, uh, our uh, disaster gathering zones map uh, was online and we started spreading it uh, over the social media. Uh, and then <clears throat> we went to Izmir and uh, because of the uh, older works we have done with the humanitarian open city team, uh, we have some uh, know-how about using uh, <clears throat> mobile uh, applications and mobile forms in order to gather uh, data from the disaster areas. So we have contacted the uh, Izmir uh, City Council uh, of uh, National Chambers of Engineers, and then uh, we uh, go to the field and we went to the disaster areas. And then we have collected the uh, demolished buildings data first. Uh, we have collected the uh, building type. Uh, we have collected the uh, building architecture. We have collected the, uh, is there a roof uh, level? Is there a, <clears throat> uh, how much levels, uh, how many levels the building has? Uh, and the other data as well. And after that, uh, when we uh, collected the data, uh, we have published another uh, online map uh, over the UMAP. So uh, we have three uh, layers of the map here. Uh, one of them is uh, fully demolished uh, buildings uh, right after the earthquake. And the second layer is about uh, partially, de uh, partially demolished buildings. Uh, and the third uh, layer is uh, showing us uh, controlled uh, demolition of the buildings. Uh, after the uh, earthquake, there were some damaged buildings and demolished buildings as well. And some damaged uh, uh, buildings uh, were demolished by the uh, workers and engineers and the other people uh, there. And then uh, <clears throat> we have organized a meeting with the uh, Izmir City Coordination Council of uh, National Chamber of uh, Engineers. And then uh, we decided to uh, create a public forum uh, and uh, distribute the form to the people uh, who were uh, affected by the earthquake. And then we started collecting the citizen data. Uh, we asked people, uh, <clears throat> uh, where is your uh, building? Uh, where have you been living? And uh, do you uh, have the photographs of the damage? Uh, and the uh, city governor's uh, <clears throat> uh, city governor's uh, urban issues uh, management uh, uh, did uh, or did not uh, do a, a damage assessment uh, 
uh, work in your building. And what was the result of the uh, damage assessments, uh, the official damage assessments? Do you need a, <clears throat> uh, do you need an urgent uh, need? Uh, do, you, do, do you have an urgent need? And uh, do you have others uh, not and photographs and the others uh, data as well? So more than 1,200 people uh, filled that form. Uh, and then uh, we have organized some uh, committees uh, from the volunteers, uh, the volunteer architects and the uh, civil engineers. And then uh, we created some uh, maps of uh, the damage assessment works. The, uh, they controlled the each building, and then they uh, made the quality assurance of the uh, official damage assessment, which was done by the uh, city governors. And then um, we made a <clears throat> different data to compare uh, uh, the official damage assessment report. And then uh, after the collecting the uh, data from the people, uh, we have published an uh, Izmir earthquake damage heat map. Uh, we have chosen the heat map format in order to uh, <clears throat> in order to not to show the private data, uh, not to show the personal data of the buildings. But uh, we uh, decided to use a heat map to show the uh, earthquake damage uh, all around Izmir, and uh, all the data, uh, sorry, all the uh, maps we have published uh, are still online uh, on a Turkish website. It is called izmirdepremi.com and uh, you can visit there. And after the uh, <coughs> RC3, uh, you can click the links uh, on my presentation in order to see uh, the published uh, maps too. And we have organized a map on International Mapathon with uh, Humanitarian Open Sit Map 2. And uh, after the Mapathon, uh, we have chosen an area, uh, the urgent area and the other areas of Izmir. And then uh, we uh, got together with the volunteers and then uh, the Turkish uh, Open Sit Map community and the global Open Sit Map community too. And we have uh, created the maps uh, for the uh, Izmir. And we have used uh, different uh, data sources. Uh, one of them is uh, Istanbul Technical University's uh, remote sensing lab. And the uh, other one is Maxar. Uh, it was provided by Humanitarian Open Sit Map 2, uh, Humanitarian Open Sit Map Team 2. And uh, in Izmir, in Istanbul, in different cities of Turkey and all around the world, uh, people uh, contributed for the Mapathon. And then uh, there were um, uh, 155,323 uh, buildings uh, were mapped uh, on the uh, Mapathon. Uh, and uh, uh, it was uh, 173,844 uh, edits were done. Uh, it was huge for Turkey, and it is the uh, greatest contribution uh, of humanitarian Nobel Sitmap Team's uh, Turkey data after the earthquake. And we have created the earthquake data GitHub repository, uh, or the GitHub, uh, and uh, we have been sharing the uh, open data. Uh, I mean, we have uh, uh, deleted the private data uh, and uh, we uh, <coughs> opened the source of uh, uh, data we collected from the citizens and uh, data we collected from the field. And we also uh, published a report here uh, in Turkish, but uh, an English report uh, will be published too. Uh, in, a, uh, in a week or two. So this is the uh, stuff we have done uh, in order to, uh, in a response of Izmir earthquake, as the citizen uh, engineers, uh, architects, and uh, urban planners do. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Akut.
Um, you said the map is still online. Can you show the map right now? Is it possible yes. to have a quick view or walkthrough? Okay. So this one is, uh, disaster, disaster gathering zones map of Izmir. Uh, it is online on your map mm -hmm. and, uh, this is the earthquake, uh, uh, sorry, demolished maps, uh, map, sorry, demolished buildings map of the earthquake. Uh, and you can check the layers here. I mean, um, these are the uh, fully demolished maps and the, these are the um, partially demolished map buildings. And then uh, these are the controlled demolished buildings uh, in the uh, earthquake area, actually. Sorry. And then Uh, this is the form uh, we have created uh, over the shade. People can uh, put their name, their uh, contact details, uh, the location of their building, and uh, exact address, uh, the neighborhood and the street and the uh, door number. And they can add some photographs about the uh, damage. And then uh, they can, there's a yes, no uh, questionnaire. Uh, Izmir governorship, uh, did Izmir governorship uh, <clears throat> do a, a damage assessment uh, process in your building? And what is the result of the uh, damage assessment test and uh, your urgent needs, please? Uh, as I said before, uh, 1,200, uh, more than 1,200 people uh, fill that form. And this is the last one, the earthquake heat map. And, sorry. And the, yes, this is the map also, but. Yeah. So one question is, will this be updated uh, or is it an option to be updated? Like now it's, it's uh, kind of repaired status or stuff or it's just the momentary Actually, it is the latest version, and uh, there are no buildings demolished uh, since um, the uh, 15th of uh, December, I guess so. But uh, if there will be a, a new uh, building demolished, uh, we are going to put that uh, on the map. Actually, not only us, uh, the other volunteers living in Izmir uh, can put uh, the data on the map too. I got one more question because it's interesting for the people to see where the, the, the data, the map and so on is. So the link overview would be interesting. So maybe uh, you mentioned the GitHub link where it's all properly documented. Maybe yes. you can open that up again. And then so we have it at least uh, in the talk. Okay, so yes. we, we find it probably, yeah, good. Yeah, links are very welcome. I uh, here we can see it, yeah, good. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so interesting and uh, any more future plans uh, on how to extend that, or is it kind of regular, so you never know? Uh, yes, we have future plans. Actually, we were lucky in Izmir. I mean, the uh, earthquake uh, was happened in a, a very little area, but we are expecting a, a bigger earthquake uh, in Istanbul, and uh, it would happen in a, a very large area. So uh, we are trying to organize against uh, the earthquake damage. And uh, we are still trying to organize workshops and uh, give people the uh, right tools uh, in order to uh, be prepared for the uh, earthquake. So uh, we still uh, want to analyze the, uh, sorry, uh, we still want to uh, create a map for the uh, earthquake risk uh, analysis of the buildings of Istanbul. Uh, because uh, there are um, uh, 5 million buildings in Istanbul in total, but uh, uh, in the worst scenario, uh, there could be more than 15,000 uh, buildings could be demolished after the uh, possible earth Istanbul earthquake. Okay. Good. Okay, perfect. I think we have the link already copied, so we have it for 
later purposes in the chat, etc. So yeah, thank you very much. I hope it was okay for you. First talk at first congress, and you enjoy the rest of the congress. So feel free to join all the other sessions and join the world. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for now. Um, I think we will hand over back to the studio. Okay, thank you.